The goblin trick for improving your mood. Get some small rocks in your hands. At least three, but maybe more if you have big hands. Close your hands together around all the small rocks. And shake. Rocks will bounce on your hands and on other rocks. There will be noises. There will be good noises. Profit. Okay, but why does that actually sound super relaxing? So I'm currently working at a law firm, and the other day one of the attorneys was talking to me, and he mentioned that he's not very confrontational. And I'm like, you are a lawyer? And he said, yeah, but in court there are rules. I can argue with some schmuck in a suit in front of a judge, no problem. But when I leave the courthouse and go home, I'm not going to argue with my wife about dinner. There are no rules in our kitchen. I would die. Warning, this post contains strong language. <clears throat> Flexing muscles, sit-ups, abs, lifting weights, push-ups, physical activity, running, football, biceps. Dang, that was strong. Damascus was a bad man at the vet and was very bitey, so he got put in the lizard straitjacket for his x-rays. Imprisoned for his crimes. <laughs> Look at that sad little dragon. Today I learned that Vikings exchanged swords as part of their wedding vows, and I, for one, think we should bring that back. The bride and groom then exchange rings to further consecrate their vows, offering rings to one another on the hilts of their new swords. Is this not one of the most romantic things you've ever heard? I want it. I was trying to make my friend a birthday cake, but the dye on the decorative icing started leaking and dripping everywhere, so it accidentally became the most ominous and violent-looking baked good I ever seen. So I slapped some sprinkles to try to make it less threatening looking. It worked. A little bit. Just to clear up some rumors, I do have blood, and I do have all my bones, and I didn't take them from anyone. I grew them myself, so stop asking. To me, this is really out of context. What the heck happened? You know, for some reason that I will never understand, scrolling through your blog during a mental breakdown cures it immediately, and I don't know what kind of sorcery this is, but I ain't mad at it. Two messages I regularly receive. Your blog almost gave me an anxiety attack, and your blog cured my anxiety attack. I don't want to understand it any better than you. July? Did you mean Pride Month 2 Electric Boogaloo? Hell yeah, let's do it. Can they, like, release new vegetables? I work at a Whole Foods and I'm here to tell you that they do. Some lady the other day put this on my conveyor belt. And I'm like, ma'am, what is this? And she has the audacity to say, I don't know. My wife just got this tapestry in the mail for the wall of her yoga room. She opened it up and laid it out to look at it, and then Toki, of course, laid down right in the middle. So now he's in a low-budget adventure flying through the woods. Enjoy. Majestic. I'm watching a documentary on Netflix about animals getting prosthetics, and this vet just hand-sculpted a prosthetic beak for an injured swan, and the very first thing it did was use its new beak to bite someone. You fool. You've made Untitled Goose Game re vengeance Pants are an illusion, and so is death. Avatar, The Last Airbender. Bringing you entirely underappreciated words of wisdom since 2005. The Emoji Movie got a confirmed animated series, and I left a dislike on the trailer video, and later that night, Gene, the character of the movie, broke the wall while T-posing with the default facial expression and shot me in my bedroom. Yeah, it's funny how people in notes are saying, gotta remember that goddamn blog name. But this reads like an actual Tumblr.com shitpost. I wouldn't bat an eye if I saw this on my dash, even if I didn't see the name. Donald. No matter our race or gender or creed or way of life or species or breed, no matter our height or girth and scent, we all hate Donald because Donald is a fucking dick. This old Bo Burden poem is oddly appropriate in 2016. It's like he predicted it. I misread that last word and I was like, what are you all going against Donald Duck? Is it because he doesn't wear pants? Oh no, my Wi-Fi's down. I'm now in the Gradient Zone. Gradient Zone aesthetic, y'all. Hey, look. Shitty internet pride flag. I like it. Am I doing crystal healing right? Yes, absolutely. I feel so much better after seeing this picture, so yes, you must be. Hey, Pucky, you got any magic powers or something like that? Yeah, but what's up? Up is this really sad movie about an elderly man and a chubby kid. Actually, it's a happy movie because it has balloons and a golden retriever, so fuck you. Behold, a giraffe. Hey, that's not a giraffe. Uh, lionesses are known for their cunning hunting. I love the idea of an oddly specific curse that isn't even harmful. I got one. Curse where on Tuesdays you can't say the word Tuesday. Hey, what day is it today? Second Monday. 
Cool, thanks. Whoever invented chess wasn't fucking around when they made knights. Everything moves in straight lines different ways, simple enough. Now there's a horse that jumps over people in an L shape. Now that is a thrill ride for the 16th century gamer. How can your body replicate the feeling of falling from high altitudes in a nightmare if you've never fallen like that before? I don't know, but I don't like this post. Why is there a fucking tomato in the train? Because the subway. Fuck you. Y'all, I'm watching Avatar The Last Airbender for the first time, and Sokka's girlfriend actually turns into the moon? I thought that was a metaphor or something. It's rough, buddy. Fuck it. Public school lunch. Yo, y'all got true moo? We got that off-brand shit. Falsehood moo. What do you mean I don't have a social life? I just went grocery shopping with my mom. Post that hit differently in May 2020. And still hit in July 2020. Hey girl, you single? No. Would you like to be? Aggressive divorce attorney advertising campaign. You can do better, babe. Let's make this happen. Okay. But imagine. Persephone making a flower crown for Hades, and it's his favorite thing ever, and he wears it all the time, and nobody would ever say anything bad about it because A, are you really gonna insult the god of the underworld? And B, everyone in the underworld loves Perse. She's like the dead mother of hell. When you see it, what am I looking for? I'm so fucking angry. I've seen this post like three times and every time I look for five minutes trying to figure out this fucking post and I never understand. I have no idea what's the point of this post is. I don't understand, fuck you guys. Look at his stomach. The world is a beautiful place. And I am no longer afraid to die. Who wrote Harry Potter? Someone who doesn't exist anymore. Their personality, their connection to our world disappeared the day they gained one billion dollars. All that's left is a little demon that gets angry at those who are different than them. Fuck, it's true. And finally I present you... Tool Gator!